the morning, welcome to a Jack Ryan Fit Camp workout. This one's a nice one, it's seven stations, it's one set and it's three laps. We're going to climb the ladder. Lap one is 35 seconds of work with 25 seconds of rest. Lap two is 40 seconds of work with 20 seconds of rest. And lap three is 45 seconds of work with the 15 seconds of rest. So it's a 21 minute workout with a two minute warm up and a two minute cool down to so 25 minutes and then you're done for the day. You can do it whatever you want afterwards. Bit of legs, bit of tummy, bit of cardio. You will need a chair and a pair of water bottles obviously filled up to get a little bit of extra weight in there to replicate that dumbbell type piece of equipment. No mat, you're not on the floor, you're not on your back, we're on our feet for the whole workout. It's going to look at space and let's get going. So I'm going to show you all the stations and then we'll go through the workout with easier versions and harder versions as we're going. Just press play, follow my lead. So, first one, lunges. Head up, shoulder up. We're going to go backwards, so we're going to hit bum and hamstrings. Hands on hips or hands out in front. Step back, drop that knee. Head up, chest proud. Keep the body upright from your avoid. Lean forward, and you want to keep that front knee behind the toes. Keep that load away from it. Don't lift that heel up. We don't want to lean into the front set of toes. Keep the heel back, keep the body back, keep those knees behind those toes. If I have got the knee pain, just do a shallow lunge, take away the depth out of it for me, okay? From here, A steps cardio. Hands up, thumbs to shoulders, opposite elbow, opposite knee, with a little bounce in between those reps. If I want to make it easier, take the bounce out. If I've got knee or back pain, take the bounce out. Just bring that knee down as that knee comes up. From here, we want chair. Chair spiders, hand on the sides. Back flat, squeeze the glutes, step out with the outside foot, tuck the inside knee in, one, two. So step, tuck, step, 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 tuck, step, step. Make sure you've got that chair pushed against the wall so it's not going to tip, flip, or fall over. From here, we're going to pistols. Now it's a single leg, up and down base, to keep the feet flat, one foot stays, one foot out in front, hip and knee in line, knee ankle in line. That foot is just extended, leave it there, you keep the heel on the foot slightly if you want to make it a little bit easier. So it's going to drive up, hands on hips, hands out in front, and then just guide yourself back down. Again, just drive up, and then just guide yourself back down. If you do want to make it a bit tougher, you can hover that leg there, and then come back down on the way. But again, if you want to make it a bit easier, just leave that heel there, just leave it there. Get you a little bit of balance. We're going to do three reps, and then when you've done your three reps, change those legs for me, okay? From here, you want those water bottles, it's water ball punches. So, collect your dumbbells for me, feet shoulder width, knees to slightly bend, weight into the heels there, head up, and just one, two, one, two. Keep those elbows locked in, punch them out in front, in line with the shoulders. Eyes forward, back nice and straight. We're not holding the squat, just a slight bend of those knees, weight into the heels, and just getting that heart rate up for me, okay? From here, it's straight leg lifts. Now, what I want to see here, you're going to stand up straight, it's opposite hand to opposite foot. So, leg nice and straight, you're bringing that leg up, and you're just going to bring that opposite foot down. Almost kick across the body as well, like a hamstring swing, but you're not going back. You're kicking up nice and high, and you're bringing that knee into the belly button for me. And from there, you're back to the chair. It's shoulder taps four to the stand. So hands on the chair rather than around the chair. It's one tap, two tap, three tap, four, in, up, back down. So one, two, back nice and flat, glutes nice and tight, tummy nice and tight. Exhale, get back in there for me, okay? Follow the lead, got a nice little warm up coming our way and we're going to get going. Okay, so if you need to get your stuff, pause the video, get what you need to get. However, I'm going to be going in the next 10 seconds. So make sure you've got that drink, you've got your bottles ready, you've got your chair ready, you've got your space ready, and we can get ourselves going. So, warm up for me first. We're going five. Four rotations first in three, two, one. Let's go. So nice two minute warm up first. Fingertip to fingertip, elbows nice and wide. Feet shoulder width, slightly bend those knees. And just rocking at the hips. Rotating through 
the body, try and avoid swaying or swinging those knees. We don't want to see this. Plant the heels, weight into the heels. Three, two, one. Big backward circles, two forward, two backwards, sorry. Two forwards for me, two backwards for me, two forwards for me, good. Another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms across, nice and high, nice and straight. From here to here, good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Get them feet shoulder width in three, two, one. Let's go. Just tap those toes. Press above the head. Breathe in when you reach for the toes. Big exhale when you press up nice and high. Again, no squat. Just lean over. Bend those knees slightly. Tap those toes. Exhale, three, two, one. Feet go wide for me, and just reach one, reach two, come up. Reach one, reach two, come up. Again, if I want to make that stretch a little bit uh, more intense, or I want to feel it a little bit more, just get those feet wider. Eyes follow the hand that's reaching for the foot. Three, two, one from there, cross the foot, tap the toes, uncross switch, cross the toes, Tap, uncross, cross, tap, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, take 30 seconds rest. We're going to go into the lunges for me first, and then we can get it going with this workout. So 30, 40, 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest for lap one. Reverse lunges first, 15 seconds and we're going. And we're going to get this one done. So 21 minutes, one set, three laps. And we can get this done. Three, two, one. Let's go. So step back, drop that knee, drive up. Breathe in as you drop down. Breathe out as you come back up. Hands on the hips, hands out in front, hands to the side, opposite shoulders, anywhere but down by your side. You want to get balanced. Step back, breathe in, step up. Breathe out. If you've got that knee pain, take the drop out. Just do a little shallow drop and go. You could swap it out and get that knee drive in there instead of getting that knee low. You bring the knee up. Another six, five, four, three, two, one. Have that breathe. A steps cardio. So thumbs to shoulders, opposite elbow coming down to the opposite knee. If you are struggling, you just bring the knee up. And the other day, you take away that bounce, but if you can get away with it, you just put a little bounce in there between those reps for me, okay? Six, five, four, three, so arms up, two, one, let's go. So bringing that opposite elbow down as that opposite knee comes up. And if you are struggling, then you just bring it into a step and go. But again, first set, it's only 35 seconds of work. 25 seconds of rest, so we are trying to get as much as we can out while we're fresh. So, set number 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a rest. Spider climbers on the chair, hands around the edges for me. Step wide, tuck the knees, step, step. Step wide, tuck the knee, step, step. Back flat, tummy tight, glutes tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So step and knee, step and step. If at any point you're struggling, shoulder pain or ache, just stand up, relax, get your breath back, get back in there when you're ready for me. Good. So step wide, tuck that knee. Step, step, step wide, tuck that knee, step, step, nice. Good, 20 seconds gone, 15 to go, good. And we've got those single leg pistols, those single leg up and down. So we're gonna start with the left leg first on that one. Three, two, one. Take a breather, flip it around, take a seat. 
So we're going to start with the easier version first, getting used to the movement, getting used to the balance. One foot flat on the floor is going out left foot, so left foot flat on the floor, ankle, knee in line, knee and hip in line, right leg out in front, just let it sit there, heel down, toes up. You're not pushing through the right, it's all about that left leg for me. Hands on hips, out in front, or tucked. Three, two, one, let's go. So drive up, exhale, come back down. If you want to look down at the floor so you know where you're sitting to, you can see that chair. Feel free, but do your best to keep the back nice and straight. Head up, chest out. What I like to do is bring my foot about a foot away from the leg of the chair. Then that's a nice bit of distance I know, but when I bring myself down, I'm not too far away. Good. Three reps. Change those legs again. Bring that foot that you're pushing off of. Bring it fairly close to the chair so you know when I bring myself down, if I want to bring that head up, I, can, I know I'm there. I know I'm not going to miss the chair. I know it's within range. Three, two, one. Have a rest for me, okay? We've got the water bottle punches. Grab your pair of water bottles for me. And we can get this one going. So, what we need to see is feet shoulder width, feet together, feet flat, weight to the heels. Three, two, one, let's go. Just punch and go. Punch and go. Bum back, slightly bend those knees, tuck those elbows in. Good. Good. It's not about getting that heavy dumbbells, and we haven't got the heavy dumbbells here. We've got to work with what we've got, but the idea now should be. Getting the heart rate up, getting the body moving. So we've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a rest. All bottles down for me. We're going to go for those straight leg kicks, the standing up straight feet, shoulder width, bringing that leg up across the body with the opposite hand. Meeting that foot. So if I bring up my left leg, my right hand is going to meet. Slightly bend that knee, bring it into the body for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So hands out in front, kick it up and across. That knee kind of comes into the belly button a little bit. It was like a standing crunch. And you're trying to get that foot up as high as you can. Keeping those arms out in front, keeping that constant movement. That one, two. One, two, good, nice. Again, legs and heart rate. Keep the legs moving, keep the body moving. Legs up nice and high, good. If you want to make it a little bit tougher, switch, squat, kick, and then get that squat in there just to increase that leg work. If you want, just keep it simple and keep it a little bit easier. Then you just do the kicks. Three, two, one, have a breather, shoulder taps to the stand. So hands on the chair this time, back nice and straight, glutes nice and tight, tummy nice and tight. One, two, three, four, stand up. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So just tap one, two, three, four. I can either jump and stand, or I can step in and stand, or to make it easier. But either way, let's get it done. So four, three, Two, one, get in, get up, breathe out, get back. One, two, three, four, get in, get up, get back. One, two, three, four, good. Five, four, three, two, one. One lap down, two to go back to your lunges for me first. Now we go up to 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Good, good, good. Come on, take a bow, guys. On the chair spiders and that last one we've just done, you can make it harder. We'll go through that. You take the chair away. We'll go through that next round. I'll show you that as we go along. But for now, lunges. Three, two, one. Let's go. So step and drop, stand and drive. Step and drop, stand and drive. Head up, chest out, and shoulders back. Hands on hips or hands out in front. If you've got the knee pain, just do a shallow step. And you do the knee drive to replace the depth on that lunge. You're still moving those legs, you're still working those legs, you're just giving those joints a bit of a rest. Good. 15 seconds more, and then we're going to move it on to the A steps. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one. Have that great but ace steps for me. So, same thing. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. A little bounce in the step, or just a step and go for me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Arms up. Let's go. So opposite knee, opposite elbow. Just getting that little bounce in there. As we go, if I'm struggling, then you just do a little step and drive. If you can get away with it though, you get that little bounce in there. Good. We've got 40 seconds here. Really want to try and get that heart rate. Knee comes up and across the body here. And you're bringing that elbow down and across. Good. So you meet in the middle. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breather. Chair, spine, just hands on top. Again, we come out from harder. Take the chair away. Go straight to the floor. Step and drive. Step, step. Step and drive. Step, step. That will make it a little bit tougher because you're lower to the ground. Three, two, one. Let's go. You're going to stay to the chair. Step, step. Step and knee. Step, step. Step and knee. Step, step. Good. You could even do half and half. You want to do a couple on the floor. Couple on the chair. Be my guess what your target needs to be. Getting that knee up and into the belly button. Tuck it in between the outside leg and that outside arm. Really getting nice and high. Good. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one single leg pistol, same again. Start from the leg that you didn't get the finish on. So if you finish on the right leg last set, start on the left leg this one. If you've forgotten, just pick whatever one you want. Five, four, get that leg out in front, rest on the heel, driving through that flat foot. Let's go. So again, look down. Have I got my foot within range? Am I close enough to the chair that if I can get my head up and I bring myself down? Am I going to sit straight? The target needs to be standing up straight. Head up, shoulders back. Well, head up, shoulders back. Standing up nice and straight. If I have to keep looking down, posture's going to go. So you need to make sure, am I in range? That if I can take my eyes off the chair, I know I'm right there. Hands on hips, hands out in front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Have a great one. We're going to go to the wall bottles now. So grab your wall bottles. Bring them out in front for me. With the punches. So eight seconds. Seven, six, five. Feet shoulder width. Feet flat to the floor. Two, one. Let's go. So slightly push that bum back. Slightly bend those knees for me. Tuck the elbows in. A quick one, two. So we haven't got much weight on the wall balls, you won't get much weight on them. So the next best thing needs to be speed. I'm getting that heart rate up. One, two, one, two. Keep the core nice and tight. Brace yourself. Hold yourself in. Try and avoid swinging at the hips and rotating. Keep yourself locked in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Chair, shut. Oh no, sorry, leg legs. You've got them leg legs now. So stand up nice and straight. Legs out in front. Slightly bending those knees from up and into the tummy with the arms out nice and wide. Opposite arm, opposite hands, the opposite foot. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. So kicking out in front, up high. And across, if I do want to make that a little bit tougher, you can get that squat in there. So you will go step, kick, squat, step, kick, squat. If not, knee pain, back pain, or you're struggling, just stick to those kicks. Leg up high, bring it across. Don't move the arms, get those arms shoulder high. And your target is, can I get that foot up to the hands? T 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Back to the chair, shoulder taps to the stand again. You can make this one tougher, you go to the floor. For the four, three, two, one. Get in, get out, get back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Get in, get up, breathe out. Start again. Four, three, two, one. Get in, get up, get back. Good. One, two, three, four. Come on. Feet nice and wide, get them shoulder width. Gives you more balance, takes away the chance of the wobble. But if you do want to make it tougher, you bring those feet closer because that means your core's got to work a little bit more to prevent your body from wobbling left to right. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Two laps down, last seven minutes to go. Back to the lunges. Back to your lunges for this one. So 10 seconds, 45, 15 now. We're going to increase that work rate. So five, four, hands on the hips, hands out in front. Three, two, one, go. So step and drop, stand and drive. Step and drop, stand and drive. So again, head up, shoulders back, breathe in, breathe out. If I've got that knee pain, just do a shallow step and drive. You can get away with it. Step back, drop that knee nice and low. Try and avoid hitting that knee to the floor though. Just go a little bit, just go a little bit above. Nice. 20 seconds left. And you are done with those lunges. You move on to the A set for the last six minutes to go. Good. 12 seconds to go. Drive four. Let's try and get another four or five out of this. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. A set for me. Find that space. Feet shoulder width, opposite elbow, opposite knee, head up, shoulders back, chest out, stand upright every single time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So that knee comes up and across. That elbow comes down and across again. If we are struggling with this move, you stop it, you do a step and go. All you do is you take that bounce out, it takes a shock off the knees and hips and back, it takes away that plyometric side, it takes away that bounce. 15 seconds left, good. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, good. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Moving on, chair, spine, just hands on the sides. Step wide, tuck that inside knee. Step and step, maybe you can make it harder. Go to the floor if you want to. Three, two, one. Let's go, so step the knee, step, step. Last five minutes. And then you are finished. Big 45 seconds now on this set. Step wide. Leave enough room between the outside arm and the outside leg to tuck that knee. When you tuck that knee in, get it right up to the belly button for me. Good. 50, 20 seconds left. Then we're going to move on to those single leg pistols. Good. Nice. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flip it over, take a seat, see one of the pistols, one foot flat, one foot out in front. Rest onto that heel. You're not going to use that leg that's extended. You want to use the foot that's flat on the floor with the knee and hip in line. Let's go. So, drive up, breathe out. Bring it down, breathe in. Make sure you've got that room, you've got that range, so when you sit down, that chair is right there, and you're not too far away. Bum goes back, and then bum goes down. All the energy, all the force, all the power has got to come through that foot that's flat. Three reps, change them over for me. Good, 20 seconds to go. If you do want to make it harder, you hover the leg that is extended. You pull the weight 
into that flat foot. You've got the balance, I haven't, so I'm not going to do it. If you can do it, be my guess. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for balls, we've got some punches to do. So, move into those last three minutes on this one. And just like that, you are finished. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. So step and punch, step and punch. Good. Try and get that bum back, weight into the heels. Slightly bend those knees, not a squat. You just want to slightly bend those knees. Punching out in front and line up the shoulders. Good. Try and keep the body nice and still. Avoid the rocking of the hips. Good. 20 seconds to go. Keep moving. Keep those legs moving. Keep those, so keep those arms moving. Good. Back nice and straight. Hips nice and still. We want to avoid this. Nice and still. Wait into the heels. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down for me. Last two stages. You've got the lift, single leg lifts. And you've got those chair. Shoulder tap to the stand. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So kick it out in front, high and wide. Leave the hands out in front, shoulder high. Your target needs to be can I get those legs, can I get those toes up to those hands? You can get maybe a squat in there between those reps, or every couple of reps, put a squat in there, your legs start and get sore. Or you've got that knee pain, just take the squats out. Good, 25 seconds to go. Keep those legs moving. Good, hands out in front. Nice. Good, 15 seconds left in your last station. And then we can stretch. And then you are done. Good. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take 15 seconds to get to that chair. Last bit of work. Last bit of work for me. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Get in, get up, breathe out. Start again. Four, three, two, one. Get in, get up. Start again. If you are struggling with that jump, take that jump out. Just step and step, stand up, step and step, start again. Good. Feet wide, gives you more balance. If you do want to make it tougher, bring those feet closer. One, two, three, four. Nice, good. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, you are done. I'll go straight into the stretch. If you're not quite ready, get pause the video, get yourself a drink. If you are ready, jump straight in with me now, please. Wall forming. Opposite heel up to the opposite hand. Knees together, head up. Chest out, shoulders back. Let's push through. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, change those legs. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come away, take the right leg, look back and across that left. Reach down for those toes. Hold it for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, come up, change. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, arm across, wrist or tricep, maybe elbow. And just hold that arm across, head up, shoulders back. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the change over. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. In fact, last stretch, head up, chest out, shoulders back. Really keep those hands close to the bum. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Guys, that is us done. Get ready for the next video. Go up on Facebook for warning. Have a good day. Be safe. Take care.